What's up, y'all? Got that funk here, of course, and I want to thank you for joining me. Now, I thought, considering the sort of heavy nature of the last couple of videos I made, I'd do something a bit more lighthearted. And I wanted to share some, some stuff about myself with you all. Uh, before I do that, though, um, just a quick update. A, a week or two ago, I mentioned on my channel that uh, my mom had been put in isolation because she was on the cruise ship that uh, Donald Trump wouldn't let dock. And I'm pleased to be able to report that my mom was tested negative for COVID-19 and released from quarantine on the 25th of March, and she is now at home in good spirits. So now that I've got that out of the way, I really apologize. I should have mentioned that like right after she got out. Anyway, um, so I have a passionate love of music of all kinds. Uh, well, maybe not all kinds. I don't really like opera and I don't really like country and Western. And when it comes to those two genres, I confess to being something of a musical bigot because I, uh, I know that it's just plain intellectually wrong to write off an entire genre of music. It's just wrong. You know, you can't say, oh, there's no such thing as a good country song or there's no such thing as a good opera song. Of course, there's good songs out there in, the, in those genres. But overall, the genres for different reasons just really bother me and get under my skin. Most other genres I either I either like or can tolerate reasonably well, um, but I'm like in in the main, you know, I, I like all kinds of different pop music, uh, you know, um, all variations of rock, pretty much. I like all variations of uh, uh, funk and hip hop and 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 reggae and 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 most iterations of jazz, etc. Um, so um, I, I like all kinds of music, world music as, as well, um, ambient music, electronic music, all that kind of stuff. I, I'm into it. I dig it. And I have, uh, I am an old fashioned sort of uh, record collector, CD collector. I like my hard copies of music. I never really want to lose my hard copies of music. I understand that there's a whole generation of people now who don't own hard copy. Everything's on their uh, electronic devices and you know that's fair enough more power to you but I like my hard copy even though it can be expensive uh, to travel with if I ever move away anyways for this video I thought I'd show y'all some of my uh, some of my records now I've got a big stack of albums and I could never possibly show them all and I've got a huge stack of 45s which I couldn't possibly show you all of either uh, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite 45s for this video so my favorite band in the world is yes and I only have a few 45s of theirs. This one is Don't Kill the Whale from 1978. Got a kind of a nice cover to it, which is why I got that. I also have a, uh, another copy of that record, but without that cover. This is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, one of the best 45s of all time. We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions, double A side, an amazing 45. Yep, that's right. This was a really fun song. Um, is one one of those songs that once you hear it, it gets stuck in your head for the rest of the day. ACDC, Highway to Hell, the must. Mick and Dave, great great cover. Do they know it's Christmas? Oops. Do they know it's Christmas? And if you have that, you have to have. USA, we are USA, we uh, we are the world. USA, um, is that USA for Africa? That's right. Yeah. No record collection is complete if you're in my demographic without at least one Madonna single. I have two, like Prayer and Into the Groove. One of the best musical artists of my lifetime. Uh, it was my pleasure to be able to see Stevie Wonder in the summer of 2019 in London in Hyde Park with my daughter. Great concert. As y'all must know, I'm a huge fan of Prince. I've got a big stack of Prince 12 inches as well, but the 45s are as follows. I've got uh, mountains. This is Paisley Park, but I have this song because the other side of it, the back side is um, She's Always In My Hair. And that's a really good song. The old bat dance. This is When Doves Cry. And that one's Purple Rain. And this one is from a band that I got into uh, not long after I moved to the UK. They were called the Dream Warriors. My definition of a boombastic jazz style. I'll tell you what, if you want to have it a good sort of uh, bop around for four or five minutes, look this one up on YouTube and put it on in the background. It's a great song. Really kind of a uh, funky, jazzy sort of thing. 
This is my little stack of Beatles 45s. I've got some pretty good ones here, some real classics. And the best part is they're all on the old record label, Parlophone. I want to hold your hand. This is the double A side. We can work it out. And Day Tripper. Yesterday. Again, these are all old originals. They're not the reprints. Uh, this is on Apple Records. Get Back. Which one's this? This is uh, John Lennon. Give Peace a Chance. Double A side. Strawberry Fields Forever. And Penny Lane. And uh, the song that started it all off in America, at least. She Loves You. So yeah, loving my 45s. Uh, I think I'm going to start listening to some of them right now after I make this video. So uh, let me tell you, what. tell me what you've got. Do you still have any records? Is it just albums? Do you have 45s as well? Which is bigger in your collection, 45s or records? What makes you decide to keep them? Do you ever listen to them anymore? Let's talk records. Hit me up down below in the comments section. And by the way, um, in order to reply to comments right now, because my keyboard doesn't work, what I'm having to do is I go to my email on my phone, type in a reply to someone's comment on my phone, send it to myself in an email as a draft. Then I have to go on my computer and copy and paste it, and take, take it out from my emails and put it on your comment. Okay. So if I leave you a comment, I hope you appreciate it because I went to a lot of work to do that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let's talk about records. Peace.